do steroids work if you're not like going to the gym? I mean, no, could, no, could, they do not. Do it, right? But for athletes, they have a significant advantage and they allow you to recover much quicker. Mm-hmm. There's certain sports. Well, if you call bodybuilding a sport, right? Yeah, it's no, impossible. Do, it's impossible without steroids. Some of these guys are just yeah. You, know, you cannot insane, get to yeah. that size. You don't get to Ronnie Coleman size. You don't get to like Dorian Yates size. You don't get there without steroids. Right. But you you can get cut. I think you can get like low body fat without taking illegal stuff probably, but you probably can't get the musculature is what you're saying. Oh, you can get very big without taking steroids. There's a lot of people that are massive without taking steroids. There's a lot of people that have fantastic genetics. There's a lot of people that have just thick, heavy builds. <laughs> you know, it's mm-hmm. natural. Like, yeah. There's many, many people like that. But to get to the size of a bodybuilder is superhuman. Mm-hmm. It's not possible yeah. without steroids. That That is a science project. When you look at these people that have just traps that start at the top of their ears <laughs> and awesome. boulders for sure, bowling ball shoulders, that is just, that's not possible. Yeah. Dude, I've met many people that are really fit and look fucking huge and they they don't do steroids mm-hmm. there's a lot in the ufc the ufc you saw to test everybody so they'll mm-hmm. show up at your house at 6 30 in the morning wake up sir we need a uh, urine, urine test sample, yeah. and we need a blood sample and mm-hmm. they do that all the time and these jacked people don't get caught mm-hmm. they're either they're Doing it so sophisticated that even with USADA, which is the most sophisticated anti-doping program that we have available. Mm-hmm. So there's some short-acting testosterone supplements that you can take that, particularly now, apparently there's some new ones. They leave the body in like two and a half hours. Hmm. So you can take them and get an elevated level of testosterone. You could take them multiple times a day, and it doesn't affect your natural testosterone production. And it also uh, doesn't show up if you get past that two and a half hour window. So there could be a lot of people who are just rolling the dice. I see. I see. Uh, how do the weigh-ins work? Because one of the things I was going to mention is, you know, to to when you weigh something, mm-hmm. like how do you, what are you comparing it? The against? weigh-ins are sanctioned cheating. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. <laughs> it is one hundred percent sanctioned legal cheating. It's more than fasting. They they don't use. Blood. Very sophisticated methods. Uh, this guy, Sugar Sean O'Malley, who just won the Bantamweight title. Dan Gardner is his uh, nutritionist, and uh, I was actually just going back and forth with him oh. um, on Instagram because I watched one of the videos that he did, and I was like, that is really impressive stuff. They're detailing how they cut weight, hmm. and one of the things they do is they eliminate carbs like very close out, and they they do all these different things to water load, so your body gets used to like dumping water out a lot there's like it's very sophisticated so when a guy weighs in in this case uh sugar sean weighed it at 135 pounds he's 135 pounds for all of like an hour or so <laughs> and then he weighs in and when he fights he'll be in the 150s wow. he'll be somewhere in the 150s and that's mild his opponent aljamain sterling is absolutely massive for the weight class so aljamain even though he weighs in at 135 pounds he's walking around i've seen him walking around in the 170s Wow, one thirty five is my big, birth weight. He's a big well, he's not that small. When you stand next to him, like he's fucking shredded. There's no <laughs> way that guy's one hundred thirty five pounds. I mean, one hundred thirty five pound person is oh, yeah. a fairly small man. It's, yeah, like this guy's way, fucking way. jacked. Wow. And so it's a magic trick. Mm-hmm. The best at it is this guy Alex Pajeda. Mm-hmm. Alex Pajeda, who was the middleweight champion, he weighs in at one hundred eighty five pounds. He fights at two hundred and twenty plus. He's so massive. Like, you cannot believe. Is there a technique to put on weight health, like, safely before a fight? Like, is just drinking It's not safe. It's not. It's not safe. It's are very bad. these guys are compromising their yes, lifespan? Yes, okay. 100%. It's very bad for your organs. It's very bad for your body. But, okay, so that's him. That's 135 pounds. How the fuck? I weigh 200. Yeah. yeah. So look at me next to him. He's fucking gigantic. <laughs> And I think he's, if not the best weight cutter in the sport, him and Pajeda, they're in the running for it. Because Pajeda, this guy, you can't, you can't um, when he weighs in, um, I don't see the actual weigh-in. I go there for the ceremonial weigh-ins. And he's already put on probably 10 pounds of water by the time. So that's him weighing in. Wow. And he's, his cheeks are sucked in. Yeah. And he'll gain literally 40 pounds almost that's... between them and fight night. It's fucking bananas. They did a study, I think, in the 80s with Olympic hopefuls, and they said uh, they made the following test to sprinters. They said, would you uh, would you trade the following uh, a gold medal, guaranteed gold medal at the next games, uh, if it meant you die at age 35? They all say yes. 
they all said, oh, it's like half of them said yeah. <laughs> the other ones are losers. But I've thought. 